Hey guys, I'm LB, and I am extremely excited to play the Turing Test. This is a first-person puzzle platformer that just came out August 30th, 2016, and I did not hear about it until today. Or, well, yesterday, whatever. I know very little about this. I watched, uh, the first half of an episode by Christopher Odd, so... After that, it'll be completely blind. So let's just get started, and hopefully this runs okay. I set all the settings to low. Because I have not really upgraded my graphics card at all on this computer. Maybe I will, someday. But yeah, I am very excited for this. I bought it immediately on principle. First-person puzzle platformers, like Portal, are amazing. Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface, post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Okay, so... I'm sure this game has very beautiful graphics. It certainly looked that way in Christopher Rod's video. But... I am more concerned about frame rates on my crappy computer, which is not actually that crappy, it just doesn't have the best graphics card. Uh... Yeah, I set everything to low, so it's gonna look kinda odd, but I don't really care about aesthetics, what I care about is gameplay and frame rate. I'm interested in the puzzles. I think... Yeah, you can see... I would have to probably turn the textures up to be able to see that properly, but these are names of people that are here. Sarah Book. And all these dates are... 2443, December 24th. The year is 2443, everybody. Yeah, I might- might turn up textures right now, in fact. Let's see, textures, let's put those on medium. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's much better. Seems to be streamed in in real time, kinda. Maybe. Yeah. That's interesting, so this game uses real-time streaming. I believe it is Unreal Engine 4, because that was what it prompted me to install. And these lights, I see these lights in lots of games, I guess these are just used in scientific areas or whatever. Cool stuff. 404 not found. Uh-oh. Oh, I can scroll through this by moving the mouse. That's interesting. Are there any other screens that I missed? Can I sprint? Yes, I can. I can hold shift to sprint. Okay, that's good to know. How far can I jump? About that far. Alright. Crew lobby. I'm noticing the frame rate stuttering, so let's turn it back down to low. <laughs> let's, uh, put that on low. And I believe everything else should be fine, right? Yeah. Pick up your EMT. It's on the side. It's on the side, huh? The side of what? Oh, we can't read this, but, uh, it's called... I think an energy manipulation tool? I don't know. <laughs> watch- watch somebody else's video if you want to actually read any of the textures in this game. I'm so sorry. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. 
armory. Okay. That makes sense. Wait, what does it say? Tom Touch OS. Interesting, so those are touchscreens. Oh. Can I... <laughs> Alright, that's, that's, that's enough of that. Uh, how do I get out of this? Oh, well, I guess that works too. Oh, we got a laptop in here. It's a pretty thick laptop, don't you think? For- for the year that we're currently in? I guess it's just heavy duty. Can I pick up this binder, or... No, it doesn't seem so. The music has stopped. It might be my cue to get going. Perhaps. Can I read this? Uh... Unfortunately not! Well, that's what happens when you try to play a modern game on a... computer with a bad graphics card. Oh. Alright, we've opened the hatch and we're climbing down the ladder. Oh, whoa, look at that! It's a retracting ladder. That's cool. Real quick, as we're admiring that... I want to change... Sprint to Q, as per usual. Apply, and continue. Always night with nice when you can What's sprint the in ship games. Status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa Lander is ready to launch. I think that's everything wound up, Tom. Yes. Well, I guess I'm ready to go down for the long sleep then. Good night, Ava. I will miss your assistance. The ship will be very quiet without you here. Night. See you when I wake up, Tom. Alright, so that's me. That's our character. Residuals before nulling. Minus zero two, minus zero four, minus zero one. X and Z, null to zero. Looking good. Okay, good. Horizon check right on time. How's things, Christopher? Good. I am go for power descent. I can confirm. You are go for power descent. Roger that. I am running the PDI program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Engine one ignition. Engine burn. Suppressing 400 alarm. Bound. The landers are ready. Good. Thanks, Tom. You okay now, Sarah? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Daniel. I've done this before. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just another ten years of my life. So... I don't remember what... Residuals oh, before nulling. Uh... Minus zero two... Minus zero four, minus zero oh, one. X and Z... There we go. So, Tom... Stands for... I think Technical Operations Manager or something? Also... I saw that Nock wanted this game, so... If he ever plays it, he's got a new graphics card that he can probably turn up all the settings on and it'll run just fine for him, so... If you care about graphics fidelity, then watch Nock, I guess. Look at these. That's cool. They're simple shapes, so they look so much nicer. This is... interesting. Look at that, that's space! We are near Europa, I believe. Not on it yet, just yet, but we will get there. What's this little area? Just a little... area to stand around and look out? I guess. Just to remind you, you're in space! Space is cool, but I- I don't want to go there until space travel is really safe. Base 3. Base 3, so that's- that's that one right there. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's like- that's literally the planet below us. That is cool. Oh, 
Okay. And these rooms are just more of the same. Wow, it's it's crazy how the planet is just right below here, exposed. Like, this is exposed to space, and it's just like a thin little window. Interesting. Oh wow, that's a window too. Alright, let's get going. Enough dawdling. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Zephyr. Engaging retro fire. I'm running the program 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. What does breaking procedure mean? Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Uh, site is misspelled. Go. Full retrograde. to Europa. I apologize for the choppy frame rate. I will have to adjust some settings between episodes to make sure it records smoothly. Wow, look at this. How far can we go? Probably not too far, right? Oh, invisible wall. Awesome. But yeah, so I wonder what breaking procedure means. That doesn't mean doesn't mean that you're like out of that procedure that you're following and that you're breaking it. That wouldn't make much sense in context. But also, sight should be S I T E because it's a it's this kind of sight, not the sight like vision. English, it sucks. How long will my suit survive these conditions? At 100 degrees Kelvin, a couple of hours. We should get inside. Interesting. I didn't know there was dialogue for waiting out here. The other guy just went right in. So yeah, what you're seeing right now, this little screenshot, that's how the game should look. <laughs> Oh, now we miraculously have a gun. Ooh, fizzlers. I hope these are fizzlers. The base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. Well, the game seems to be running better now that we're not looking at impressive environments anymore. So that's good news. Alright. Standard puzzle game intro. Fizzler. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support. Especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. Alright, we've got some sort of long-range ability to trigger stuff, which is cool. So these little orbs... It looks like it fills up my top sauce. So it looks like we can only hold three at a time. So that'll be interesting. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. 
I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. Oh, that's a w I thought there was glass there, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Oh, she's super clean glass. Alright, that's where we put it. I was trying to figure out, you know, how we were gonna go anywhere with it, because I thought those... those are solid glass panes, but nope! That is just open windows. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. They have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. All right. Oh. Oh, E hold. Oh, and you move the mouse. That's a neat mechanic. So you hold E and move the mouse. Interesting. Also, is it possible to stand at a door and take this? Yes, the door closes too quickly. Good, good, good. So glad they thought of that. No, no way to zoom as far as I can tell. I didn't see a zoom option in the controls anyway. Alright. Ah, there's a window. Where there's a window, there's a way. We got it. Fizzler? Uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. <sighs> they must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. Interesting. Was there anything else in here that we could do? Doesn't seem like it. Hey, wait a minute. I have an idea. If we take this... Can we swap them? Hey, you can! So these things will accept either. That's interesting. In fact, I think we actually had to do that for the puzzle. I think that was the entire point of this puzzle. I'm already a step ahead. Yep, that was the entire point of this puzzle. Just a basic swapping puzzle. Awesome. So, if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Restricted area? Huh? What's in here? Diverging path? Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. It's like a combination lock. Yeah, this is probably some sort of combination lock. Interesting. Good, we can jump down. Without killing ourselves, that's good to know. It's not like the Swapper where you drop 10 feet and die. What is this thing? Well, it makes a weird sound when I stand in it, but I'm not really sure what it does. What is this? Oh, so E to hold. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Alright. That's... interesting. I like that. I don't think there's anything like that in Portal that I remember. Oops. Ah, well. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, so here's the question, right? 
Is this gonna stop me from taking stuff through with my gun? Actually, I'm- I'm more curious about the box. Let me go grab the box, and see what it does. Does not want us to take- we- OH! It's so- yes. This is exactly what I was hoping for. It's solid, so you can't take the box through unless you drop it. So if I, uh... Well, there we go. I can't even touch it at the same time. So I press- I can't even pick it up while I'm standing in here, so that's good. So if we pick up the box, it changes color. Yes. Interesting. What about if we take one of these guys? So what color is it now? That color... Ah, we can't walk through with these, apparently. Fair enough. Oh, I kicked it. Did not mean to kick it. Come on. Okay, so the question is... where... Oh! That thing was being powered by one. Oh, so these devices actually require power as well, in order just to be... Okay, so we can operate it without power, but it won't work without power. Interesting. Uh-oh. That's not good. Wait, the color's different? Oh! Oh! So, but... It's the power... So the- if the power source is fluctuating... So does the device. Interesting. Wait, what? Let me put this on here, please. Thank you. Oh, okay, so you just have to run through while this it's open. Add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. I wonder if these bars mean I can't take stuff through the window. Let's find out. Oh wait, is this an ore gate? Oh, it's one of these! Alright, well I know what to do here. Come on. Alright, and then... Oh, we can take it through. So, the, oh, the bars prevent us from taking the box through, but they allow us to take the energy through. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflict. There we go! So, it's about locking yourself out. Cool stuff. So, his instances, that's- that's interesting. So it's distributed computing. Incongruities, though. So they have... different... facts to the story. Huh. What is this? Ah, okay. It's one of these. Alright, this is pretty simple. Oh, what- what- I forgot to move on to this one first. We're still learning the basics. It'll get much harder, I'm sure.
Alright, so now we've done that, let's put it there, and we are good to go. Oh, my gun gets put away? Yeah, past this point, I put away my gun. That's interesting. This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. Is that a, a hold? Standard microscope. Alright. Don't wanna... open it? Perhaps? Maybe? You know, these things can be opened. I think I have first-person walking simulator syndrome. <laughs> Can't actually open anything. Can just spin it around in my hands. Look at the outside, how beautiful it is. Jupiter, heliocentric orbit, distance to sun, 778,000... Oh no, 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 778,524,000 kilometers. Eccentricity? Eccentricity? What? What is that? Equatorial radius, escape velocity... Orbital inclination, current orbital velocity, 47 kilometers per VVH. What's VVH? I'm not familiar with that unit. Jupiter is the second largest physical body in our solar system. It has a large gravitational impact which stretches and squashes Europa. This creates geothermal energy inside Europa, a source of great heat. This has created a subsurface ocean. Interesting. Yeah, Europa's a pretty interesting... moon. Europa Loading Bay, status compromised, transferred material unknown. Crew transfers unknown, signal interrupted. Europa's ground base was built using thousands of tons of resources shipped to Europa through an interplanetary network. Yeah, I can't read any of this, unfortunately. What is this? Some sort of... Looks like a radio. Like a really rugged radio. I mean like a walkie-talkie kind of radio. Sticky notes. Flipboard. Nothing written on it. Paper. Some sort of tag. This is the unfortunate thing about automatic texture optimization. Textures that don't matter so much, like the surface of this table, should be much lower, and the stuff that does matter, like all all this, should be higher. But that takes hand tuning, and a lot of developers don't have time for that. So it looks like this is our central hub from which we can access other puzzles. Interesting. After we figure out what this does, we will end the episode. Uh, pressing E. Oh, it's changing this. Is it? Fortuna. Fortuna is in low orbit around Europa. It can house a crew of 12. It serves as a communication and transport link between Earth and Europa's surface base. Alright. Jupiter. Jupiter is the second largest physical body in our solar system. It has a large gravitational impact which stretches and squashes Europa. This creates geo- Wait, didn't I read this? Yeah, oh... what? Did I read about Europa? 
Oh, I guess I didn't read about it. Europa's surface is constantly facing Jupiter as it rotates because it is tidally locked to it. Though it has now been discovered that the rocky interior rotates separately underneath the ice and water layers. Ooh, that's interesting. Alright, I think we've read everything now, right? So, as always, thank you for watching, and if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode, hopefully with a better frame rate.